Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Diamond from Space Scientists have identified something very, very rare on the surface of our planet. They confirmed the existence of a diamond from outer space, one that likely came from a meteorite. It was transported a significant distance across the cosmos, dislodged from a dwarf planet that existed 4.5 billion years ago. The stone is called lonsdalite, and it's harder and stronger than a normal diamond. The natural chemical process by which this stone was formed is so incredibly advanced, scientists believe they could use it to manufacture industrial components. The story of the stone begins with geologist Andy Tompkins from Monash University in Australia. He was looking for meteorites in northwest Africa when he came across the diamond embedded in a space rock. After countless hours of investigation by numerous scientists, experts formed a theory. The Lonsdalite stone was part of the mantle of a dwarf planet that was struck by a gigantic asteroid. The asteroid caused an explosion so intense that it created the diamond and hurled it through the universe until it landed on Earth. If all of this is correct, it would make the diamond from outer space one of the rarest pieces of rock any human being has ever come across. Number 9. The Rock Organism Pyura chilensis looks like a rock but is in fact an organism. It's an extremely bizarre and rare creature considered a delicacy to some people in Chile and Peru. The living rock, as people call it, is a truly miraculous feat of nature. It contains high levels of vanadium in its blood and it can reproduce with itself. Its blood also happens to be as red and vivid as the blood of humans. But the really shocking thing is that if you were to find a Pyura chilensis while scuba diving, you would never even know it was a living thing. It looks like any other piece of grayish-white rock on the bottom of the ocean. It isn't until you cut it open that you reveal its dark crimson blood and organic components. The living rock is related to sea squirts, and it kind of looks like a sea urchin. This thing has evolved to have no brain and no sensory organs, and it feeds by filtering nutrients through its body. It doesn't feel anything, it doesn't think about anything, and acts more like a plant than an animal. It was once found everywhere in the intertidal zones of Chile and Peru, but people have eaten so many of them that they are starting to become rare. One of the weirdest things about the living rock is the toxic vanadium in its blood. Its blood contains concentrations of the heavy metal, millions of times greater than the seawater it lives in. Scientists don't know why the metal is in the creature's blood or what the purpose of the metal even is. Number 8. Massive Arthropods 470 million years ago, there were gigantic arthropods living in the world's oceans. The arthropods were upwards of 7 feet long, according to preserved fossils recently uncovered in Morocco. These early animals were positively massive in comparison to the arthropods that still live on our planet today, such as shrimps and spiders. Most insects are descendants of the early invertebrates, only they've gotten a lot smaller over the past almost 500 million years. The extraordinarily rare fossils of the giant arthropods were found while exploring the Fezuata Shale. This is currently a vast and desolate wasteland in the Moroccan desert, but was once the sea millions of years ago. Nearly half the fossils discovered in this area have been jumbo arthropods. It's clear to scientists that the arthropods dominated the world, or at least this part of the world, long before the days of the dinosaurs. Researchers were able to identify an estimated 70 species from the fossil beds during their dig. Even with all the discoveries of huge arthropods, scientists say they've only scratched the surface. They've only found so many of these extinct jumbo creatures here because there must have been an underwater landslide that preserved their shells. But it's only a snapshot of what was once a chaotic and bursting ecosystem of strange underwater creatures. And now for number 7. But first, it's shout out time! I want to say a big thank you to Jean Art and Dave Stewart for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about rare discoveries. Number 7. The rarest thing in the universe. Scientists believe they have just detected the rarest thing ever. 
something one trillion times older than the universe itself. Ethan Brown from the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute says he and his team detected a process which takes over one trillion times longer than the age of the universe to unfold. It's the longest and slowest process that has ever been directly observed. This process of decay was only observed thanks to special dark matter detection equipment. But just what in the world am I talking about? According to researchers with the Xenon Collaboration Team, Ethan and his colleagues observed the radioactive decay of Xenon-124 using instruments built to detect dark matter particles. Xenon-124 has a half-life of 18 sextillion years, an unimaginable amount of time. The radioactive decay was detected thanks to a vat of super-pure liquid xenon called Xenon-1T shielded from cosmic rays 4,500 feet beneath Italy's Grand Sasso Mountains. Researchers had not been looking for radioactive decay. They were using their instruments to search for dark matter. But because their instruments are so sensitive, and because they are searching for dark matter particles inside a vat of pure xenon, it was always a possibility. It's just nobody thought it would happen. They coincidentally managed to pick up signals from an interaction between a dark matter particle and the nucleus of a xenon atom, which triggered the longest known process in the universe, the decay of a xenon-124 atom. Number 6. The Rarest Turtle in the World The rarest turtle on the planet recently hatched its eggs in Texas. It was the first time such an event occurred, that we know about. It happened on Magnolia Beach in the summer of 2022. RJ Shelley has been working at the beach for 31 years and has never in his life seen a sea turtle nest hatch. Yet in 2022, the rarest turtle in the world decided to lay its eggs in the sand of the beach, and luckily Shelley was around to help. He spent most of his day assisting the hatchlings. He helped them reach the water instead of wandering onto the road and being run over. About 40 or 50 hatchlings made it from the nest into the sea, something huge for the critically endangered species. This is the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, the smallest sea turtle in the world. They only grow to be about 2 feet long and around 70 pounds, and there is no other sea turtle more endangered. The fact that these things are now laying their eggs in Texas is a great step in their own conservation. And because sea turtles typically return to the same beach where they were born to lay their own eggs, they could come back in 15 years to create even more. Number 5. Rare Neutron Star Scientists have just spotted one of the rarest objects in outer space. The object in question is a very unique neutron star produced by two white dwarf stars smashing into one another. It may sound like something that happens all the time out in space, but this event may have created one of the rarest stars ever seen. A white dwarf star is formed when a neutron star runs out of mass. Just about every star in the universe starts out as a neutron star. When these stars use up their energy, they turn into a white dwarf. Then, at some point, the mass is too much, and the pressure within the core cannot resist its own gravity. This causes an implosion. The white dwarf star implodes on itself, either becoming a neutron star or a black hole. At least, that's what scientists have always thought. But when researchers discovered the stellar object J005311, they found something very suspicious. The bright star is nestled inside of a gas cloud and happens to be 40,000 times brighter than the sun, except it gives off no visible light. That's because its light is infrared only. It's also spinning about eight times faster than the velocity of most stars, almost 10,000 miles per second. Scientists believe the two white dwarfs collided, creating enough heat to cancel out the collapse and supernova that would have resulted with both of them. It's an incredibly rare event, and the only one scientists have ever witnessed themselves. The star is basically a perpetual explosion of swirling heat that could last for thousands of years. Number 4. Pink Iguana Babies For the first time ever, scientists have discovered hatchlings of one of the rarest animal species we have on our planet. Researchers in the Galapagos Islands were blown away to find the nesting site of Galapagos pink land iguanas. This is a big deal considering the species was only described about a decade ago in 2009. 
Since then, conservationists have been convinced the Galapagos pink land iguana was already knocking on extinction's door. Up until this new discovery, scientists have only witnessed adult pink iguanas about four feet long. They have never found a living baby, never a nest, and never an egg. They always assumed that when the fascinatingly rare pink iguanas were found, they were already in the process of going extinct. It looked like the last mature adults were the final members of their species. But now everything has changed. Paul Salaman from the Galapagos Conservancy says underground nests have been found, indicating the species may still be saved from extinction. There now appears to be an estimated 300 pink iguanas left, making them one of the rarest reptiles still alive. They live in a remote area, less than 10 square miles on Wolf Volcano. But things are still looking grim. Conservation monitors have already seen feral cats attacking and eating hatchlings as they try to crawl out of their nests. Specialists are now trying desperately to preserve the few remaining hatchlings before the pink iguana really does go extinct. Number 3. Red Spiral Galaxies The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful telescope ever created by human hands, has made some fantastic discoveries since it was launched in 2021. One of the rarest things that it spotted are red spiral galaxies. Some of these might just be the most distant ever seen by us. But red spiral galaxies themselves are nothing new. NASA has imaged them in the past, just not in great detail. But with the James Webb Telescope, we can see the physical morphology of these spiral galaxies, which could help scientists to understand the early universe. Spiral galaxies are common. Red spiral galaxies are rare, making up an estimated 2% of galaxies in our local universe. Scientists don't know the secrets of these galaxies, but assume they were more common during the earlier days of the universe. Two particular red spiral galaxies appear to be the oldest. RS-13 and RS-14 were created between roughly 10 billion years ago. These are currently the most distant and earliest of all the spiral galaxies. Even more bizarre is that RS-14 is a passive galaxy, one that has stopped forming stars. Researchers say this could mean that at the beginning of the universe, there were a lot more galaxies that didn't even have any stars in them. Number 2. The Ancient Eagle an incredible discovery has been made in the desert of southern Australia. 63 bone fossils were found belonging to one of the best preserved ancient eagles ever. Paleontologists from Flinders University are calling it a very rare discovery. The bones add to the long and complicated evolutionary history of flying raptors in Australia. This ancient eagle lived 25 million years ago and was the largest bird of its kind in Australia at the time. Its fossil was found at a remote outback cattle station, and researchers were shocked to see that it is a brand new species. Researchers have named the creature Archehyrax sylvestris. They say it's one of the oldest eagle-like raptors that ever lived. But the eagle wasn't the biggest bird that ever took to the skies. It's even slightly smaller than the wedge-tailed eagle still around today. However, because the largest marsupial predators 25 million years ago were only about the size of a small cat, the eagle was perfectly suited to its environment. It would have been able to prey on all terrestrial animals, making it the apex predator of Australia's prehistoric skies. Professor Trevor Worthy explained that because eagles were at the top of the food chain, they left very few fossils behind. There just weren't that many of them to leave a large fossil record. It's rare enough to find a single ancient eagle bone, never mind 63 of them creating the entire skeleton. Number 1. The Most Distant Star The Hubble Telescope has discovered what astronomers suspect could be the farthest and most primordial star ever observed through a lens. Jane Rigby with NASA says the newly discovered star is by far the most distant individual star ever seen. It's called Arendelle, and it was likely created about 900 million years after the Big Bang. If true, this star existed during a time when the earliest galaxies were growing and evolving, in a time when the universe was still largely dark. Prior to this new and very rare discovery, the oldest star was nicknamed Icarus, 
and was about 3.2 billion years younger than Arendelle. Scientists estimate the star is about 50 times bigger than the Sun, but that's about all we know. It's so far away that scientists can't even confirm 100% that it is a star. It could be a different cosmic object. It's so far that we are looking at it through our telescope as it appeared billions of years ago. The light from the star would have spent the last several billion years traveling across the universe to reach NASA's telescope. This means the star is long gone, probably already sucked into a black hole. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back soon for more awesome stuff from the channel. See you later. Bye.